Hey everyone, welcome back to the third tutorial of this WhatsApp clone series. I am Ayush and you are watching the Indian Dev. So guys, in this series, we have like built this uh, the front end part of the WhatsApp clone. And in the last video, that was all about the DB design and the API definition. We have designed the database for the minimal WhatsApp clone or we can say mini WhatsApp. And other than that, we have done the setup for the server code that is uh, like build over Node.js and Express.js. And we have defined the routes for that particular application like uh, like all the useful or required routes we already have defined. And now like in this video, we will be covering the business logic of these APIs like what we will be doing in these APIs and exactly we will be writing the code for the APIs. So if you haven't watched the previous two videos that was about the front end part or DB design or API definition or maybe for the Node.js setup then you should go and watch those videos and before jumping onto this video I just wanted to make sure that if you guys are new to my channel the Indian dev then please make sure to subscribe to this channel I am constantly post posting the projects for react.js and now we have moved on to full stack development and if you just wanted to learn react or javascript then the series are also there other than that you can follow me over instagram where i'm constantly sharing the tech related content on the daily basis so yes you guys can follow me over there now let's see like uh, how we can proceed with these apis so if i talk about the service structure we are having the configuration where we were, we were like setting up the config for the express like all the middlewares we have applied for body parsing for comparison of our course now the next thing like db connection we already have the function for db connection we are having these routes where uh, like all the routes has been declared and the main server.js file so this is the minimal stick structure for uh, like node.js server we can do a lot more uh, like modification or improvement in this uh, directory structure that we will be doing in the next projects or maybe i'll come up with a video with node.js uh, like microservice architecture so like uh, for moving into this particular uh, like definition of these api what i'll be doing is i'll be simply creating a folder inside the server that can be like uh, we can say that app folder so inside this app folder or app directory we will be having like all the stuff related to our like application the node application so first thing i'll go with the models so inside the models i'll be having uh, like inside the models i'll be having my models like users so this is the users model and like as we have defined the user model and the channel model so i'll create a new file that is channels so in this like file what i'll be do is i'll be doing uh, i'll be just keeping the schema for the user in the same format so uh, for that i can like simply start with the user schema and for the user schema like as we know that for the mongodb stuff we'll be using mongoose from mongoose and to create a schema for the user what i'll be doing is i'll be defining the user schema and the user schema is the new mongoose dot schema and inside this i can define my actual schema that comes with the name and i can define the name type like uh, what is the type of name and like the type of name is string and we can define the default value so as of now like default value will be the empty string similarly what we can do is we can create other fields as well so other fields are name phone number profile pic and the password so i can simply go with the phone number phone number password and profile pic so all of this uh, can be the string uh, uh, like I just wanted to keep this as number the phone number and other than that we can have this as added on key and this is uh, like uh, I just wanted to keep the timestamp inside this added on and the default value can be date dot now this way we are having the minimalistic user schema that we will be using inside in like in this application similarly i can create uh, the other stuff as well but uh, i need to export it so i just wanted to export 
default and this is the mongoose model this is the mongoose model and i can name this model as like what i do is like uh, the microservice name that is whatsapp clone and whatsapp clone and this is the schema as users and uh, i need to pass the user schema here this way we have like created the user schema i can import it anywhere and other than that other than this uh, what i can have is i can have a few methods that i have i'm having predefined methods for like uh, making any kind of changes like in the user schema if i just wanted to save the data uh, this is the method this dot save and so i'll not be writing this dot save or something like that i'll be simply calling save data and similarly for finding the data i'll be calling this find data and find one data in case i just wanted to search only a single result and in case i just wanted to update the user i will be calling this method so these are the minimum method that i keep in all the like um, mongoose models so similarly i can go into the channels and i can copy this inside the channels i just need to rename the this to maybe if there is option let me do this channel schema and here i can just replace the user with the channels channel schema here i can keep channel that's how we have created the channels schema as well and inside the channels we need to like do some changes in the actual model so here we are having like uh, the add-on will be there other than that i'll remove all the stuff and i'll go with the channel users and channel users is an array and other than that we are having the key as messages and that is again an array so that's how we are having we are having our like channel schema now we can define the internal object as well so internal object is the minimum like a mini user model which will be having these three keys inside the channels So inside the channels we need not to keep the password we need not to keep the phone number we will have another option that will be underscore id so that we can identify the user by its id we need not to compare the phone number again and again because the id is definitely id is definitely the unique one in the mongoose because this has been provided by the mongoose itself so that's how we can keep the users and similarly we can create the object for the messages and inside the messages uh, we will be having the sender id the sender id the message and we can keep the key message type as text but i am not keeping that because as of now we will be working with the text type only and we don't need this uh, profile pic as well we just need added on inside this message so that we can like identify when this message has been added to the system so that's what the channel schema look like now uh, we can move ahead with the like api definition or api business logic for that i'll be creating a like com like uh, directory as controller so these are the controllers uh, like which will be responsible for handling the api calls so here i'm creating a file index file index.js index.js file and here we can write the like all the business logic for the apis and for that what i'll be doing is i will simply import the user model and simply the same stuff as for channels and i will name this as channel model channel model so we are having the models inside this uh, like controller and from here i can export exports i can export the methods for handling the api calls like i can have the create user method and this method will be asynchronous and it will be receiving the request and the response from the api and that's how we will like we will be interacting with this create user method inside our routes so this is the route and we need not to do this stuff we will simply like have the controller 
dot create user method controller i can import sim like i can simply import in the routes uh, at the top it will be like import like i'll be importing all the stuff start as controller from controllers so here uh, i guess the controller is connected to the create user the create user is here similarly i can create like other uh, like functions as well like i can have for the various APIs like for login i can have the login user method for creating the channel i'll be having the create users or maybe create channel cha uh, like method and for fetching the channel list we can have the get channel list for searching a user we can have search user for sending a message we can have we can have the uh, like method name as send message so that's how we will be having like all the stuff or all the controllers for each api and now i can simply like let me close these server.js users channels now from here the controller is here i can simply replace these with the actual methods and now i just need to like provide the actual name like uh, for login we are having the login user method for create channel we are having create channel method similarly we are having all the methods uh, that we have defined in the controllers and in the controllers if we can like go then we are having all the stuff together now inside this like create user i can work upon the sign up api or we can say the create user api so like before doing this or maybe uh, we can start doing the stuff we will be receiving in the request like all the parameters that has been required for creating a user similarly like in all the apis so for that we are having a uh, api or the library at as npm yep so this is the library that we will be using for validation or validating the javascript object that is that is coming from the api end so like this is the like uh, widely used library that you can see here as well so i'll be simply installing this library into our project so for that i need to go inside the server inside the server i'll be installing npm i yup if you guys can see and i'm installing npm i yup and hyphen hyphen save so once it's installed in the like library or inside our project we can validate or we can apply the validations uh, as well here so in the meantime i can create a directory as utility inside the server so this folder utility is responsible for like all the utility method maybe for sending the response to the user or maybe for validations so for the validations i am creating this validations.js and inside the, this vali validations.js like uh, yes yep is installed so i can close the terminal and now in the validations in the validation part i can simply go with the example of this so if you just wanted to validate any of the schema then you just need to like write this much of code like uh, what is the property of name and if, if, like if this require or not and you can pro like apply a lot of validation parameters like if the, that is that field is email that field is url so you need not to like write the custom code for this the library do it like uh, by itself so what we need to do is we will be like exporting some of the methods like i can write module dot exports and from here i can export some of the methods for like uh, if i can have this validate create user 
so as the name suggests this will be the method for this will be the method for validating the request for the create user and we will be receiving the parameters request response and the next so this is the concept of the middleware that uh, if you will apply this middleware like uh, that uh, you can understand from here from the routes like uh, how it works uh, that is very simple like if any user is connecting with this post endpoint that is user then once the request is coming to this endpoint it will be redirected to this particular method similarly if i am having any of the middleware in between these methods so like if i just if i can simply import the validation like uh, the validations and from the validation uh, if i am calling validation dot validate create user then in that case then in that case uh, let me close this then in that case like all the request and the response data will be here and in, like inside this method so like if i can go to with this validate create user so from here we are having the request we are having the response and this next method is available here with this method with this next we can like uh, navigate to the next middleware that is this controller dot create user so that's how it works let's uh, do something inside the create user and we just need to write the stuff like this if i can copy this or maybe like if i can have the actual data or actual schema for our create user so inside the create user we will be needing like uh, the phone number the name the password and the profile pic and as of now i am not making profile pic required because uh, like as you all know that we will we are not having any functionality of uploading the image so in case user is providing the profile pic url then it's fine otherwise we will simply go with the placeholder for the for the profile for now and once we are having this schema we can validate this schema with the the request body so whatever we will be receiving in the request body we will validate and this validate is the same method uh, that is validating the schema so for that i am having the like a method or a utility method that we can say so i'll have these this validate method in all the like apis for validating so what is it is doing is like we are sending the schema that is the schema and it will validate this schema with the request data so whatever data is coming in the request it will be validating it with the schema and the about early is false so that like if phone number is incorrect then it will also check for name password and profile pic once it's done with all of that stuff and if there is no error then only it will proceed to the next middleware that is the controllers in the create user and otherwise like it will throw the error and for throwing the error we will call a method send error and send error we can define it in the we can define it in the utility so in the utility i can have the method as send error and this send error will be having the response so that we can send the response to the user the data like what is the error uh, there and the message so from here like uh, we can like similarly we can have another method as send response and this send response will be receiving the response the data the message and uh, like if that is success like the api is successful or not and maybe the success code and inside this i can have a basic structure so that we can analyze everything in this structural form at the front end so that uh, data i am keeping here and message will be at the message key and if it is successful or not uh, we will having that boolean value here and the response code so like in the send response i'll be using the response the http response dot format so it will be formatting our response in the json format and then after it will be response dot send whatever the response object is so now we are having the send response method ready 
so this send method uh, like send response method will be very helpful in terms of sending the response in a structured manner because like otherwise what will happen is uh, like we will be having sometimes string at the, at the response we will be having object uh, like in terms of response and now we have like uh, formalized our response similarly like if the error is there so what we will be doing is i will be uh, like using the send response method and uh, like it required this response and if it requires the data i'll be passing the data and in the message i'll be passing the message so all the stuff is coming from here and if the message is not available here then in that case i'll be calling as request field as the message and uh, in the success and uh, that will be false because uh, like uh, and the code can be 400 that is the code for bad request so in terms of sending error we will be calling the send response and in the response we will be having like success as false response code as 400 message as request failed and the data can be the any error so i can simply export these two methods from here and inside the validation what we can do is we can simply import this sender method inside the validation part and uh, like this what it this will be doing is like if i can import this at the top so the send error is here and uh, like if we can go inside the validations so if there is any error then in that case all the error part with the path and the message and the value it will be descending as the error and the message will be invalid request so like i hope you understand that if uh, the user or the api call is coming to the user it will first check with the validate create user if the uh, like request data is validated successfully then only we will be going to the channel list similarly what we can do is we can like have the validators for all the stuff or all the apis and yes now you can see that uh, for the login uh, we can have the valid validate login for the create channel we can have the validate create channel and for searching the user we can like definitely have the search user uh, where is that yeah search user for the channel list we can have the method as validate get channel list and similarly for the messages we can have the validate add message so now uh, like all of this stuff is clean here and uh, uh, we can define the method as well like instead of this create channel is here get channel list search user uh, send message so everything is defined inside the route so i can remove this line as well now and it looks good now we need to work on the validation part so we are having the method for like uh, create the user similarly we can have the method for the like login for the login we just need the phone number and the password in the string format and uh, like the other simple uh, like validations are for getting the channel list and for searching the user for getting the channel list we need to like validate the query parameter because we will be like this is the get api and we will be receiving the data inside the query so that's why i'm i'll be having the query in the user id on the like user id as a query and for the searching the user we will be receiving the phone number similarly if i just wanted to like create a channel then that's a tricky part so i'll be writing it again like this is the async request and uh, like all the parameters will be same and for this like if i just wanted to create the schema like this if i can copy this and instead of query we will be looking into the body because this is the post request and now like inside the create channel as we know inside the channel model like i can go in the model in the channels we are having the channel users so i'll be like applying the checks or the validations over this and channel users is not a number it's an array so what i'll be doing is yep dot array and array is like again a structural form array of and the arrays of some object that is underscore id name and the profile so for that what i'll need to do is i need to again need to like i define the object so the array is of shape this 
and inside this shape i can again like utilize some of the things inside the channel user so this says that channel user should be the type of array and the array uh, is the type of object and that object will have these keys like uh, the underscore id the name underscore id is required the name is required and the profile pic can be th there and that's not mandatory one more thing we can do we can apply the length so all the properties that i'm applying uh, that you can simply learn from like it's npm page npm yep and yeah that's a tricky one like for validating the create channel and other than that we can have the method for validating the send message or we can say the add message and inside that we just need the channel id we just need the message model so now i think the validation part is complete and that is connected to the routes as well now we need to work on the controllers where we need to write the business logic for these apis so let's go let's start with the create user and now as we know that our request data is totally refined or totally validated so here i'm not applying any of the validation i'll be simply writing like user object and this user object is the new user model and inside this user model i'll be simply passing the request dot body as we are receiving the data inside the request body and i'll be saving this user object uh, it's user object dot save data why i'm using this save data because inside the user model we have already like uh, created like if i can go from here inside the models in the users you can see that save data is method that is doing this dot save and similarly we will be using find data find one data and find one and update data so these are the custom methods that we can use and once the user is saved into the db what we can do is first let me import those methods the utility methods the send response and the send error i can simply use this send response so here you can see the advantage of defining that method set the send response that will receive the response and after that it will require the user object user object uh, and other than that we need to provide the message that we can write as user add it successfully and the response is successful and the response code can be 200 so this way in the send response we are like sending the response that is a http response that will be used to send the response and the user object which will have all the property of this user and the message and like some other parameters that we require at the create user end now what we can do is we can work for the login user and uh, yeah for the login user what we can do is i can have the request data request data is request dot body and now we need to check if that a user is like existing in our system or not so what i'll be doing is i'll be calling the user model dot uh, find one data that is the method defined inside this and inside this find one data we will pass some of the parameters like phone number phone number will be like uh, as we can go inside the validation part i can close this model inside the validations for login we are having the key phone number so we can simply write request data dot phone number and similarly what we need to check is the password of the user so we can simply work for the password of the user and if that this user is found in our database then only we can say that yes the phone number is fine and the password is fine right now we are not doing any kind of like uh, any kind of uh, hashing or any kind of encryption with the password because this is a very open system we can definitely work on the security part like so we can keep it in the is user of exist key like if the user will exist then only it, this query will return the user model otherwise it will be empty so we can simply apply the check here like if the user is not like does not exist 
if user does not exist then we need to return the error so i'll be using the method send error and inside the send error we can provide the like the basic stuff the response and the data should be empty and the invalid credentials method like a message and if the user is found then we need to return the response so for that i'll be using the send response method that is returning the whole user object and the message that user logged in successfully so that's how the login api will work now before going on to this like uh, the create channel get channel list search user we need to check this api so for that what i'll be doing is i'll be simply starting the server uh, to just check that if there is any error or not okay so we were in the whatsapp clone we need to go inside the server and i need to run npm start let's see if uh, like there any error is there or we can like we are good to go okay so the error is not there and the application has been started on 3005 now if i just wanted to check like in the browser as 3005 or maybe the local host 2005 so yes here you can see that our api is running and if i just wanted to go with the user then it will say that cannot get the user in that case for testing this api we need to go with the postman and the postman is should be available here okay so the postman is available here and i am having this uh, endpoint as 3005 user so this is the api for creating a user and i am having the request as well here so what if i can if i am removing this request and checking this api maybe some error is there okay so some error was there yup is not defined okay so in the validation section okay so we haven't imported the yup in the validations so we need to do, do like do that we will be importing the yup here now we i can like restart the server and then check so here you can see that what happened is the api request came on this endpoint that is user of post type and after that it went to this validate create user and inside this like the yup was not defined hence it's like return the error here so if i can check it again uh oh so here you can see that in the response data one thing that you can notice that uh, like if the screen is visible or the response is visible then you will see that the response is in a very structured manner and that is the magic of our uh, like the utility method send response and here you can see that the message is quite clean that invalid request success is false the response code is 400 that is bad request and from here i can ad identify that what wrong i am doing and this is the magic of the yup api that if i will not send any of the parameter or the defined parameter then it will definitely throw the error now if i can check with the, like these two fields then you will see that the password is uh, required so as of now what i can do is i can start with the uh, phone number 111 like five times one we are not doing any kind of phone number validations because we need not to worry about that as we are not working with the real time example or we will, will not be sending the otp to this phone number so let's see like if i can like i school stressed is already there so i can create the user with some other username maybe maybe with rahul joshi and the password i am keeping like uh, same for all of the users so that i can like remind that in my mind and if i can send then only it will go to the create user and let's see if uh, like uh, any error is there so the api is has validated the request and it should go to the next part and next part is okay so in the user i am having the wrong definition here so i need to keep the create user here and i need to restart the server so the api is started and uh, now if i just wanted to check i can keep it here and if i just wanted to check with the user for the rahul joshi then you will see that the rahul joshi is created there and profile pick is empty as of now because we are not having having any of the profile pick 
and one thing we can do like we can provide the field for like dynamic profile pick as of now uh, with the url of any of the photo maybe for the github profile and uh, right now like the user has been created and if i just wanted to log in with this user i need to go with this like login api and the login api is again uh, like validation is there so if i just wanted to write any of the number here like if i just wanted to write any random number and if i will go with login let me check like what's the issue there so inside the login and uh, the user exist is not defined so we need to check inside the login user method uh, login user okay so we need need to check for use is user exist let's restart the server again so now everything is okay like is user exist is available here now we can check uh, this login api like if you can see that like uh, we have created this user like uh, with the id five times one now let's check with uh, like uh, a different password so if i'm writing a different password then it is it is saying that in the invalid credentials in the terminal the api is running and it is saying that invalid credentials now if i can go with like the correct password as we know that in the validation section in the validation section we are having the phone number and the password as the mandatory field and we are providing the correct data from here so now let's see like if the user is authenticated and we are receiving the data from the login api or not that we need to check so yes here you can see that uh, with the correct user id and uh, we can say the correct phone number and the correct password we are receiving the user information like as of now we are returning the password from here as well but we can do one thing like we can uh, like remove this from the response and uh, now uh, like uh, what we can do is we can work on the next apis and the next api is for creating channel and inside the creating create channel like method what we can do is we can simply like write the code for uh, like the channel model we need to create a channel model and uh, as we know that in the validation section we already have the method uh, that like validate create channel which will validate that uh, the incoming data is correct or not and in that we are just receiving the channel users which is an array of like this mini uh, model which is having name like users name users id and users profile pic so in the controller what i just need to do is i will be simply like uh, creating a channel model channel model as new channel model and in this what i will do is i'll simply pass the request body and as we know like uh, the request body is uh, like already in the shape of this like uh, this channel model channel schema which is having the channel users so we will be receiving this from the in the request and initially we are not having any of the data in the messages so it can be an empty array other than that added on will be there so let's see like uh, inside this create channel so this is the create channel i will be saving this channel model that is the new channel using save data and save data, save data is the method inside the channel schema which is saving the current schema so here uh, like it is done now what i need to do next is i just need to send the response so similarly i can send the response to the client that uh, channel created successfully and in that i can simply return the channel model so firstly i need to update the message other than that in the response i will be uh, like returning the channel model and the response code is 200 so it's perfectly fine like this create channel should work now like before testing that like i am totally sure because there is nothing to do as our all of the work is being done by this validation like if the data is not correct then it will not create any of the channel like one more validation like if uh, you wanted to implement you can simply check like if a, uh, like a, a channel is already uh, there like if the uh, channel with the same users is already available there then you need not to create the ch new channel again you should like simply return that the channel already exists in the create channel but uh, like that we can uh, like play around with the create channel option in the front end other than that if uh, i just talk about the get channel list so in the get channel list uh, validation we are having a simple user id so we just need to check like inside these uh, channels if uh, like uh, i am the part of any channel or not 
so for that what i just need to do is i'll be simply like as we know that uh, this is the get kind of api and we will be receiving the data and the query in the channel list so what i'll be doing is i'll simply keep the request data from request dot query params query params and i can simply uh, make a find call in the channel model so i can here yeah, channel model dot find data and in the find data i can write the i can write the simple query just to find out the channel list and that query can be like if we can have a look on the in the model then you will see i just need to map map i just need to check that if this user id is equivalent to this then only i will like fetch the information so i can say that if the channel users dot underscore id is equivalent to the request data dot the key we will be receiving is the user id because like in the validation you can check we are receiving the user id and on the basis of that we can like send the response like if i just wanted to send that channel list fetched and here i just need to return the channel list so that's how the like get channel list is uh, complete and it like it is very clear api that we just uh, we are just making a query to the channel model connection and on on the basis of that we are just returning the channel list now the next thing is like search user so in the whatsapp clone uh, like if i just wanted to chat with a user and i'm not having any existing channel with that user then first i need to search that user with his or her phone number so for that what we will be doing is like uh, search user validation we can have a look we are just receiving the phone number so and the phone number is in the query so i'll keep the request data in the query param parameters and i just need to check if that user exists or not so we can use the same query uh, that uh, we used to do in the user model so i am just finding one data that if the phone number is equivalent to phone as we are having the key phone in the validation part so we will be receiving that so we just uh, know that if the user exists with the same phone number then only uh, it will uh, show at the front end that yes this user is uh, like existing in our, in our system like the whatsapp clone system so similarly we can uh, like send the response like if user does not exist we can we will simply say that no user found no user found and in the response uh, that like this is user exist will be having all the user information so we can simply send that user found successfully and like uh, parsing this response object in a structured manner is again having a advantage that you will see in the postman request so before sending the message what i just wanted to do i just wanted to check out like these uh, newly created api so i will be starting my server again once it's started we can check or we can test our newly created apis one is create channel and like this so if i can go to the postman and as we know like uh, we are having this user uh, like with phone number uh, this uh, this is rahul joshi and i'm having another user with uh, like phone number this and the name is this so in the like create channel api as we know that uh, with the validation format that we need to send an array of this object at the key of channel users so i am having the data here you can see that in the channel users i am having the data if i just remove this and just try this then you will see that channel users must have two items and if i can like do it uh, so for the rahul joshi and the user is rahul joshi and i just wanted to create a channel with uh, this name and then i just need to use the id of this user and the username of this user so we need not to fetch it again at the backend and the next thing for like this user id and as the password is same i can fetch the data for this user as well from the login api and i just need to use the user id so yes so now we are creating a channel with like uh, rahul joshi is creating a channel with john doe and if i just 
send this request and if i just test then you will see in the response that uh, the response data says that channel created successfully and you can see like uh, messages as of now like is, it is a newly created channel hence there is no new message and other than this we are having the add on time we are having the channel id we are having the users in that channel so that's how we have created the channel now like the next api that we were working with was for uh, like search user so let's see like if search user is there yeah search user is here and if i uh, just wanted to search for the newly created user that was rohan joshi so i will search with his number like phone number i am passing in the query and let's see if it's working or not okay so search user let's see what's happening here search user okay so it is calling the get search and this is the difference here search user we need to pass in the search user api and the channel list in the get channel in the channel list api and the rest is fine so let's see like if it's cool or not i'll restart the server let me yeah so we are having the search user which is having the search user validation and the search user api call i can stop the server and restart it again just to check if that uh, like uh, this search user is working or not okay so the api has been started now if i just search for this user then yes the data is here and it is saying that a user found successfully again uh, the, this is not a good approach to send the password we can delete it but uh, just to check if uh, this api is working or not like if i am entering any random number then it is saying that no user found then it means like uh, the api is fine if i just wanted to search for john doe i'll simply go with this username and the yes the data is here now if i just wanted to search for my uh, like phone number then the data is here hence the search user api is working absolutely fine now we can move on to the next api the next api is like the channel list so if i am the user like i am ayush kulsrest and i just wanted to check uh, like if there is any channel for me or not or maybe we can check with the newly created user that is rahul joshi and as we know that his phone number is in the rahul joshi if i can go uh, is five times one so if i just wanted to search for the channel list for this user id like uh, from here we created the channel with rahul joshi and john doe and the user id of rahul joshi is this so if i just wanted to check with this user id like the user id of john doe that uh, like what's my channel list or what's the channel list that i need to show in the whatsapp clone uh, at the left hand side so let's see okay so the server is running at port number 3005 now if i search then you will see that in the response data we are having only a single uh, like uh, we are having an array with a single object because I, as of now i am having a single like chat connection with the john doe and if i just wanted to create it with the like uh, this is the channel api and if i just wanted to create with the uh, this user like one two three four five that's my user and if i just wanted to create with like a channel from rahul joshi to ayush kulsrest then in that case i just need these ids and like while you are working with the postman you need to be careful with the ids because like ids are the mapping of all the stuff so i am creating a channel with ayush kulsrest then in that case a new channel is created and now if i am searching for Uh, rahul joshi then let's see like if the newly created channel is there or not so i'm uh, like sending a request now here you can see that i'm having two channels and in the each channel the first channel is with the uh, like john doe and the next channel is with ayush kulsrest so that's how like our channel list api is again working fine and this will be used at the is uh, to show the channel list at the left hand side of the whatsapp clone and the messages we will be having here so now let's work on this last api that that is message api or we can say the send message api for uh, like message validation there is a simple validation schema that uh, i just need to provide the channel id like in which channel i am sending this message and in the messages i will be having the sender id and the message as of now we are keeping it as the text message so let's see like in the send message what i need to do is i'll simply k 
keep the request data here and as it is a post type of api i'll be receiving the data in the request body and now here what i just need to do is i need to update the channel model because in the channel we are having the messages schema so what i will do is i will simply push the i'll simply push the messages in this message array and as we are having the channel id so what i can do is i can simply find like from the channel model dot find one like the method that we are having for update find one and update data and here uh, what i need to do is i'll be simply uh, like uh, it uh, this method accepts exactly two parameters first one is the find query and the second one is the update query so in the find query what i can write is i just need to check with the channel id so in the channel model if the channel if the underscore id is equals to channel id because we are having we like we are receiving the channel id as this and now in the up, update object what i just need to do is like uh, if you can have a look clearly then here i will be writing the update query and in the update query i just need to go with push operator and this push operator will be inside the messages like the messages key in the channels schema we are having this messages key and i just need to push this messages schema with the messages key that we are receiving in the request body they call request data dot messages now once it's done like i just need to mark up wait once it's done i can send the response that yes that yes like the message has been sent successfully i just need not to return anything and simply i can write message sent successfully now let's see like if this is working fine or not i'll stop the server and restart it and let's see with the with the message api and the message api is like this as you can see that in the body we just need to provide the channel id and the sender id and the message so the server is started and now like as you can see in the channel list i am having a message like this chat list or this channel list and the channel id is this so i'll simply keep it here and like if i am sending the message from rahul joshi then i just need to use his sender id and this channel is with john do so i can simply write hey john now let's see uh, firstly i will uh, like go with the incorrect data okay post unexpected token okay so json is not uh, valid okay so here it is already uh, like showing all the errors so this is the beauty of the validation middleware and that you can see here like uh, we are having the middlewares in all the apis so it's always a good practice to have the middlewares and if i just send the correct data then let's see so it is showing that message sent successfully and if i just can go inside the channel list api and send this request then you will see that in the in this channel i am having a message hey john how are you and this message is being sent from rahul joshi and simply i can do the same from the other user as well like hey rohan i'm great i'm good what about you so this way like uh, the next user the john john is sending a message to rohan and we have changed the sender id the channel id is like same because we are talking or having the conversation in the same channel so the message is sent again now if i can check the channel list then you will see that uh, there are two messages so in that order, order we are having all the messages in, inside this schema as itself and one more thing we can do like just for the optimization we can like uh, uh, make a query in which we will be receiving all, only like last 20 messages from each channel so that the response of this channel list api is not that big so that's how like we can work with the apis now i think like almost we have covered all the apis that we designed in the design phase now like uh, just to make it clean i can simply rename this validation method maybe like 
validation add channel i can create it okay and for this validation get channel list i just i can use validate get channels okay it's still the long r1 i can keep it as validate channels i am just doing this uh, just to, to make it in a single line i can change it as well get channels and let's see okay so now it's uh, pretty much clear like uh, here you can see that uh, like all the apis and we are having validations for all the apis and our controller is like uh, executing all the business logic behind this and the api like you can see here that the api is pretty clean and uh, simple like uh, no more checks are there checks can be missing like uh, we can add a next level of validation here as well like if that user already exists we can return from here like uh, this uh, user is already existing uh, similarly in the login we can simply delete the password key from the response like before sending the response and for that like it is again a simple thing uh, like i just need to write delete and in the is user exists that is the response model that we are sending and i just need to write password so it will delete the password key from the like this user model and similarly we can achieve this stuff so that's all about uh, like uh, the apis and the api uh, development uh, from the node.js perspective in the next video we will be like integrating these apis in our whatsapp clone react.js application so like thank you for watching this video guys if you have liked this video or learned something from this video then please make sure to hit the like button and uh, make sure to leave a good comment or whatever the feedback you are having just to like just for my improvements so that's it guys thank you for watching this video thanks